Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use images in Kivi. So as you can see, we've just got a really, really small Python file here. We've just got our main app class here. It has the build method, but it doesn't do anything. Then we're just instantiating the my app class and we are running it. And then we also have the my.kv file, which doesn't have anything in it. And that is linked to this, to this Python file. So to load images into your Kivi application, you're going to need to import the image class. So from kivi.uix.image import image. And now that we've imported the image class, we can just create a new class, which will hold our image, which will inherit from the image class. So we can call it class my image, and it can inherit from image. And um, we, can, we can just pass here. And now in the my.kv file, we can select the my image class and we can say that the um, we can say that the source of the image is going to be is going to be our image file. And as you can see, I've got this um, image file called shrek.png. Uh, it's just a picture of Shrek. And um, it's in the same directory as my Python file and as my um, Kivi file. So it needs to be in the same directory. And if we just copy and paste the name here, so shrek.png, we set the source of my image to be shrek.png. And if we return my image, if we return an instance of my image and we run it now, we can see we get a picture of Shrek in our app and we can scale it down and scale it up and it fits perfectly. So basically what we're doing here is we, we've got a class called my image and it inherits from image and it's not actually doing it, not actually doing anything. Then in the my.kv file, we're selecting my image and we're setting the source of it to be shrek.png. So we're selecting the source of the image to be this picture of Shrek. And then we're just returning my image. And if we weren't to use a my.kv file and if we weren't, if we didn't have this class, what we would do is we would return an image and we would set the source to shrek.png. And if we just get rid of this as well, otherwise we'll get an error. If we run it now, you can see we just get a picture of Shrek. So if you wanted to, you could just return the image like this, or you could have a class like we had before. And in the my.kv file, we have it like that. And we run it and we get Shrek. Say we didn't have a local image and say we wanted to get an image off the internet. Well, what we can do instead of importing image, we can import async image. And this will inherit from async image and we'll set the source instead of a local image. If we go into a web browser and we find an image, I've just got this picture of a cat. We can copy the URL of the image and then set the source to that URL. And because it's an async image, if we run it now, we can see we get this loading and there we go, we get a kitten. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you would like to see how to use lambdas in Python, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.